said I was a peasant. I brought nothing to the table. Then the Lord prepared a table in the presence. Now look at me sitting at the round table here with the one and only Sandra. Framer, prove that when you call that he will answer. No brainer. That's why I lift him higher every time I rep the savior, Harry K7. <laughs> Beautiful. Welcome to Nana Frima TV. Today we're doing Nana Frima TV a bit different. We are here in Bourbon House Cafe, and whereby we're going to have a conversation with one of our gentlemen here, Harry Kay. So today here we have Harry Kay, a talented gospel rapper, here on Nana Frima TV. Every month, we are going to be And then Nana Frima TV, so you will have to come, 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 be ah. Or ye a walk as a harum, as a harum as a pa, a woo, and ten and a British junkum. Harry K, thank you and welcome to Nana Gramati. Thank you for having me, it's a pleasure. You are as well. So, who is Harry K? Is Harry K is Harry the first name and then K the last name? Uh, K is my, is my middle name. I'm actually Harry Kwabna Yabwa. Okay. But I made it Harry K just for short. Harry K is like a stage name. Um, who is Harry K? I am a Christian, just a person who loves God and who loves art, uh, specifically music and rap, hip hop. And I have chosen to. Thank you. Thank you. Please mm. Nice. That's okay. Thank you. This, this is lovely. Yes, please. Yeah, so as I was saying, um, I've chosen to serve God through my music and through the gifts and talents that he's given me. So I'm just a Christian who loves to rap. Where were you born, Harry? In Ghana. I was yeah, born. in Ghana. Yes. Okay. Did you grow up <laughs> in Accra or did you grow up in any other part of Ghana? I've lived in Accra my whole life. Um, I've been to... Cape Coast, Kumasi, and Kuporidia just to visit. Besides that, I've been in Accra my whole life. But I look forward to visiting other parts of Ghana. To visit other parts of the world? Yes. You should. Yeah. And then Ghana is beautiful. Yeah. Right, so, so take me from growing up here in, in Accra. How was it for you as, as, as a child? Did you grow up with both parents? Yes, so um, I grew up with both parents. My auntie was a pastor in Lighthouse Church, so she invited my mom to the church and then my mom brought us. So we grew up in the church uh, since I was about five years old. So our pastors really trained us in the ways of the Lord since we were kids. and. By God's grace, we've grown up and we've held on to everything that we've been taught. And that's how I find myself here today. I see, so it yeah. was through your aunt? Through my aunt, yeah, okay. who's a pastor. Who, who's a pastor and who, is she the one that raised you? No, my parents raised me. Okay. But she invited my mom to church and then my mom brought us along. Okay. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> I see, I think, your father is well, either world known or or African known or just known in Ghana. He's a he's, he's a sport journalist. Yeah. True? Yes. Okay. Yes. Wow. You did your research. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, my dad is um, Kwame Ewa. He's a sports journalist, and yeah. Did you pick up anything from him? Um, are you? You do, I, I know that you do work out. It's maybe perhaps that's why, that's the reason why we're all, Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm not really deep into sports. I love Manchester United and they've been disappointing a lot of late, so. Um, I'm a huge Cristiano Ronaldo fan. Okay. So, you hear me say Harry K7 a lot. <laughs> seven. From that Cristiano comes, Ronaldo. <laughs> that comes from Ronaldo, so. I see. Uh, there's that and, um, yeah, Manchester fan, Ronaldo fan. Um, I play tennis. 
I and then I work out. You, yeah. You play tennis as a as a pleasure. A hobby. As a hobby. Or as a hobby. Yeah. Okay, so just you as a done hobby. Anything professionally? No, 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 no. Not at all. Not okay. at all. Why not? Because uh, uh, I guess I just had different interests. God gave me music, and that's what I love. My dad loves sports. I love music. Right. So, is how long have you been rapping, or how long have you been singing? That's a good question. That's a good question. Well, so like I told you earlier, I grew up in the church, so um, music is really popular in my church right yeah so i grew up in the church choir at lighthouse since i was yeah pretty much my whole life since i joined the church five years old and uh, there's really good music in the church so i guess it is what it is <laughs> <laughs> it is what it is so wait a minute wait wait a minute. talk to so, me so so because you were at church, that's when you, you grew for the love of music and that's where you learned? Is that what you're saying? That's where, yes, because they teach music in my church. Okay. They, they, they taught us instruments as kids. Okay. They taught, I learned the piano okay. and a bit of um, guitar. Okay. So, cool. yeah. Um, yes, and then like just TV, I grew up, um, in the early 2000s, um, there was um, this rapper Eminem. So I was crazy about Eminem, like just from TV and um, yeah, TV. So I liked rap, but I didn't hear anything like that in in the church. We're just used to like choir type of music. Right. But I, I, I heard Eminem rap and I loved it. And so, so I was. Basically, so you as a Christian loved Eminem and. Yes. And church, church music was. Would you say it was boring for you at no, that time? No, 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 okay. no, no. I love music. I love church music, but. I was introduced to hip hop or rap through Eminem and I, it, it sounded very interesting and I was looking for something, for a way to, um, like something that was Christian enough okay. and, and also rap at the same time. And around that same time, my friend introduced me to Lecrae. I was like, oh, this is just perfect. I love this. <laughs> it's like cool rap and it's Christian too. Right. So, yeah, that's when I really got into, into rap. the whole rap thing. So that's when you started rapping as, was it just basement rap or were you, how was it introduction to church? Were you rapping in church? Or you were just rapping to yourself, you know, as most people would do in their rooms or at the basement and trying to, perfect themselves before they even introduce it to church? Okay, so that's a very good question. <laughs> um, I didn't start rapping, like trying to blow out, blow up on stage or trying to make music like that people would love. I just, rap for me was like, it was like a diary. It was an, out, an outlet for me to express my emotions. So I had like a diary a book that I'll literally write what I felt in and I'll just rhyme it and um, one time I started rapping from my book to other people and they seemed to like it so I, I guess I just that's how I started like recording I started recording and then people seemed to like the music and uh, it just happened it wasn't planned on Nana Fremati, so we, we do a bit of both languages. How many languages do you speak, Harry? Pigeon. You speak, <laughs> and I don't know how to speak pigeon. Uh, a little bit of Ga, but it's not on point. Tree and you were born here in Ghana. How did that happen? Born here in Ghana? I don't know. No, a little bit of Ga. A little do bit of tree. A little bit of well. tree. 
just a little, but you understand just few. I understand it. In Timika say, and and he find your bad year and now we hear ya. What does it mean? That's thick. That's that's. You said and I know and it's today. Mm-hmm. Say it again. And then, oh sorry, I'm not part. When I wake up in the morning. When I woke up today, what did I do? Yes. Okay, yeah, that, I understand that. Was, that. that was what I, I asked. You don't have to answer <laughs> that. Okay, so, so so basically the tree is not so so it's good. So point, if, no. if we should turn it into, if I should say you should wrap in tree, then that one cry. <laughs> That's, <boo-boo>. <laughs> <laughs> That's a disaster. That's a disaster. That would be a disaster. I see. Harry, do you... <laughs> so, no, go ahead. Um, I... I could try like pigeon. If I, I mean, I can, I can try something in pigeon. I cannot speak pigeon at all. So, Harry, let me, let me ask this. You look very quiet. If somebody should judge you from the way you look, I mean, they would, they would see you as the one that is just sitting by its piano. And mm-hmm. I mean, I've listened to your rap and the way you, you, you can spit. Thanks. You, thanks. You, you, no, you I, I get that a lot. I get that a lot. Pe- people hear the music, and then when they meet me in person, it's like, ah, that was you, because um, uh, they say I don't look like I sound. You don't. Yeah, I, I'm a different person, like on stage. I'm a different person in the booth. Are you a shy person? Um, I wouldn't say shy. I'm just reserved. You just I'm just reserved. quiet. But yeah. So what, what, what is it that makes you when you stand on the stage? Is it because you're able? Because rap. I was going to say is it because you're entertaining? But I wouldn't say it as entertaining because your type of rap is not entertainment, but is for let's say change, let's say a renewal of mind, mm. and all that gospel things. Yes. Correct. I guess it's just hip hop culture. It's just hip hop culture. You can't be on stage and then, and it's not. I I I I realize that it's the same with a lot of other artists. They have, they have quiet personalities. Like Beyonce herself says, she's an introvert. That's what Beyonce says. Then when she gets on stage, she's Sasha Fierce, mm-hmm. a different personality. Okay. So you, <laughs> now that you, you brought it up. <laughs> So with you, what yeah. are you on stage? You're not Harry I'm, K? I'm Harry K. You're still Harry K? I'm still Harry K. It's just a different side of Harry K. It's a different side of Harry K. Yeah. Okay, so Harry K, there are other gospel artists like Celeste Donko who has done gospel music with secular artists. There is, um, there is Maverick City who's done songs with Justin Bieber. But with, well, Maverick City didn't get a backlash, but Celestine Donko here in Ghana received a huge backlash. Would you say, and not to say that this is right or this is not a right or wrong thing, where do you stand okay. with doing music um, with secular, secular, secular Good question. artists? Good question. Uh, hmm. That's a controversial question. I have, I'm always having debates about this with my friend Jutsaki. Another. Why, why is that? Would you? Well, you would answer that question, but there is this. There's another question in this question. Would you do a music, or would you do any any music that you release? Would you do it with a circular artist? Why? Yes, and if it's no, why? I've worked with circular producers. Um, but would you? Yes, I've worked with secular producers. You've worked with, but those are producers. They're behind the, the scene. <laughs> would you on stage or okay, uh, on your album? Mm, to be very honest with you, I haven't had to deal with that before, and I don't know how it will be like when I get to that junction. Um, I have no idea right now. When Lecrae, I, I keep talking about Lecrae, that's my favorite artist. But um, he also started, I mean, he did some songs with some secular artists and he, he caught huge backlash for that. So it's not just um, Celestine Donko. 
Um, I think Liquid took those bullets for other people to be able to work with secular artists, whether it's wrong or right. Um, I can't speak to that. Right now, Celestine Donko is catching bullets for, for making songs with a secular person. And in the future, I'm sure um, it will be more accepted in Ghana like it is in America. Because maybe she's the first, that's why she's um, catching all the fire for that. I don't know. The, for me, the important, it, the important it, thing for me is the music. Does it glorify God? Does the music serve its purpose? Is the spirit behind the music? So, um, God can use anybody. That's what I believe. God used the donkey in the Bible. God can use anybody. So, it's more of the spirit behind the music and not the person, not the vessel, but the spirit. I don't know. Case example, Maverick City and Justin Bieber. But Justin Bieber considers himself a Christian, you know. So does the um, the artist that we're in, Akaba. I don't think Akaba has disclosed that he's an atheist or he's a Muslim. And I don't think Afia also has disclosed that he's, she's an atheist or a Muslim. So they all identify that they're Christians because they're singing they're, they're singing songs about Christ. So yeah, but Justin Bieber has has also, you know, identified himself as a Christian. But however, he doesn't sing Christian songs. He sings secular music. But during that, I, I'm hoping that you'll watch it with oh, Mama City and, and um, I've Justin I've actually Bieber. seen it. Okay. I've seen it. Did you see the ministration, how Justin Bieber took it? And to me, when I was watching it, I said, this is not the regular Justin Bieber, but this is... A different spirit, a, dis a different atmosphere that is behind it. So it, it can be for anyone, you know, any yeah. gospel artist that is playing secular music. I agree with you 100%. I agree with you 100%. Jesus said that if we will not praise him, if we will not worship him, he can raise stones to worship him. So absolutely anybody can be used by God. That's what I believe. Absolutely. All right, so it looks like you have a, a new song. There's, is it a single or is it an album coming up? I have an album coming up, yes. When, when is it going to be released? <sighs> okay, so I try to release an album every 31st May. That's my birthday. Oh. Yeah, but it doesn't look like I'm going to make the date this year because uh, we still have a lot of work, like finishing touches to... So in, in about maybe a month or two? Yeah, very likely, okay. in about a month. How did you know? <laughs> Research. <laughs> wow. I have to read about you before I, I get on the table with you. Wow, <laughs> I'm impressed. <laughs> That's impressive. So write about it in the next next month. Next month. Okay. That's when it will be released. Is there a title of the song? Is it is it all rap or you have both rap and so it's going to be called Yours Truly. Yes. It's like so. a love song. No, I'm talking about the whole album. Yeah, the whole album is called Yours Truly. So, but the idea behind it is, um, it has two meanings. So I'm saying that I am yours truly. Like I belong to you, I'm yours truly. And then at the same time, yours truly, as in me, Harry K. Yours truly, Harry K, so. Okay, I, I understand. Yes. Do you have any albums that you've released previously? I have two EPs out. Okay. So they're available everywhere on where, where Apple can we Music, find them? Spotify, everywhere. Okay. Just type we'll Harry them. K. Okay, Harry The K. first one is called There's Got To Be More. Okay. And then the second one is called More. Okay. So is Harry K a family man? <laughs> oh, he has to drink coffee before he <laughs> Uh-oh. No, I'm not a family man. By family man, you mean am I married? Yes. No, no, no. So you're I'm single? single? I'm single. I'm, yeah, I'm you're single. You're single, sexy, and searching. I wouldn't say I'm searching. <laughs> <laughs> but here, here's the thing. So, so the last person that I really liked, 
like me, but she was like me. The last person that you really like. Yes. Also like me. Also like who? Me. You. Okay. But she was. Hold on. Listen. She also liked me, but she was also like me. Scared to love again. Oh. Philophobic. So okay. here's here's what she told me. What she is said. What's it called? Philophobia. Philophobia. When yes. you're when you're afraid to love again. Yes. Hmm. I have a song on my on my upcoming album called Philophobia. So, no, hold on, I'm not done answering your question. Okay, answer but, that. We'll, we'll get back to that. <laughs> so, here here's what she told me. She said somewhere between I love you, but I hate love. The heart wants what it wants, but the mind is made up. Mm. I can't risk any more stress on my fragile heart. I don't mind agape, but Eros and I are miles apart. They say that I should give another try. The heart shapes cars on my soul are screaming otherwise. Love is butterflies. Please tell me another lie. Before you know it, I'll be saying hello from the other side. I wish that we could live in fairy tales. They never tell you the truth, but I swear it kills. I've seen it many times, all the early thrills. If they lasted forever, the gates would be married still. I admit it, I love you too, but seeing more hurt than the bold ads on YouTube. Call me philophobic, but Harry, love is fire. I told her you're preaching to the choir. Wow. So these are, <laughs> these are her words and some of that. To be continued on the album. Get the rest from the album. On the album. <laughs> you heard it well, so to be continued on the album. So coming back to you. So single but not searching. Yeah. Why are we not searching? Because uh, I just need some breathing space for some time. Yeah. I'm sure like in a couple of months I'll be ready for a relationship. In a couple of months. So that means that, you know, you you've been already stuck in I'm just I might I just have a full plate at the moment, so I'm involved in a lot of things, my music, work and other things, so I just need to clear my plate a bit. Makes sense. So Harry, the way that you spit, mm -hmm. there is no way I cannot let you spit here on Nana Frima TV. So give the world a little bit something. Sure. Let's hear it. Why not? Why not? <laughs> Let me clear the table and Let's make some space table, for myself. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! No beats. Okay, I'll do this a cappella. Or do you want me to give you a beat? I'm just kidding. I'm, I'm not doing the beats. <sighs> I'm sick of the cop and I hope that it happens less. Quit with the brag and I told you I'm unimpressed. See through the masks that hide the unhappiness. I know the broad path it ends with bad regrets. And when I'm on it, I know that you can't bear it. Barely escape birds when you lose your bearings. Got 99 problems, but I know the one way. And he leaves the 99 sheep to find the one stray. Jesus walk with me like I'm K West. I can't be idle on this great quest. I got a fit bit, time to take steps. Pawns in my way, time to play chess. For real, they fill my head with questions. Never cross nobody, why they hating on the blessings? Said I was a peasant, I brought nothing to the table. Then the Lord prepared a table in the presence. Now look at me sitting at the round table here with the one and only Sandra. Framer, prove that when you call that he will answer. No brainer, that's why I lift him higher every time I rep the savior, Harry K7. <laughs> Beautiful, excellent. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. Do you, do you also rap in pigeon? Broken oh English? Oh boy. <laughs> I yes. Mean, you, you do? No, oh. no I, well. Yes or no? I've, I've, I've tried something before. That's You've a, tried something I've tried before, something before. But you didn't like it. It's on the album, so. I'm about to put you on the spot. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Harry, I thank you for coming on. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. Thank you, world, for watching with us here on Anaprima TV. So you can find Harry Case music on Spotify and Apple Music. A big thank you to Bourbon House Cafe for making this interview possible here in the East Legon area. If you are in the East Legon area and you are, if you're hungry, breakfast, lunch, American, or even the local dish. Bourbon House Cafe has it all for you. I also want to say a big thank you for directors and producers at Call Motion Production. I hope you enjoyed Harry K today. If you haven't joined the Nana Frima family on YouTube, kindly do subscribe below. If you have, we thank you for subscribing to Nana Frima TV.
Do 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 do